Okay, we're going to take a little piece of fabric, and this one is cut. Now, I cut it on the fold. It's cut 8 by 5. You can cut yours whatever size you want. Take your piece of fabric. Like I said, we're going to do it on the fold. And we have two two pieces of Velcro because we always use, we use two pieces of Velcro on our port pillows. Now, you can do just one and do it right in the center. We're going to do two and do one at the top and one at the bottom. So, we're going to pull it apart. We're going to get some pins. Okay, I'm going to lay it here. I'm take my other one. And I'm going to lay it here. Now, you can pin it if you want. I'm not a huge pinner. So, we have it down there. Now, we're going to take our scratchy side. And we're going to put it scratchy side down. Because this one's soft side up. I'm going to put it down on here. And stick them together. Okay. I'm going to put it down on here. Stick them together. Now, you want to make, take your pins. And pin them in place. Now this is hard to pin through Velcro. But you're going to pin it in place like so on both sides. Okay, like I said, I don't use pins very often. I just kind of wing it. So pin it on both sides. And I have a label I'm going to put on mine. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to lay it here. Make it all lined up. Now I'm going to close it. And I just iron it to make sure I don't have any wrinkles and whatnot in it. So I'm going to iron all the sections on both sides. Don't leave it down too long. Okay, and just kind of hold it together. Like I said, yours is going to be pinned, mine's not. So I'm going to take this over to my serger. Okay, I serge everything. It holds that Velcro in place better, so I'm holding mine down. Running through the serger. Now I'll bring it over to my straight stitch machine, and I, and I walk in my stitch at both sides. I do a stitch there, and then, oops, I didn't cut it. And then I'm gonna come over and do the same thing on this side. Lock it in, lock it in, and that leaves me a little hole to flip it through. Okay, okay. So we have both ends. We have a little hole to flip it through. I'm gonna stick my fingers in there. I'm just grab the top with my fingers and pull it through. Okay, back to the right side. Now I use a crocheting needle. These were my grandmother's when she was alive. I use a crocheting needle and I stick it in there and I poke out those corners so they're not all bunched up. Okay. Now I personally like the scratchy side down so I flip that to make sure the scratchy side is down on the other side. Okay now I'm going to go over and iron the bottom real quick and we're going to put whatever stuffing you choose to put in it. Okay we have our stuffing in it now. I'm just going to pull my edges together. Now again you may want to pin. I'm not the best at pinning just to hold it closed and you can stuff it however firm or just soft you would like. I like mine softer. I don't like them super firm. I'm going to lock my stitch in forward and back. Now I'm going to go straight along this edge. Make sure both of my pieces of fabric are there. I'm going to line up the whole stitch. Lock it on in on that side. Cut off my threads. Kind of shake my stuffing to where I want it to be. And like I said, I like mine a little bit softer because then your seatbelt kind of lays in it and it kind of cradles it more so than if it's really hard and firm and it just, to me, that would seem more uncomfortable. So there we go. There is our basic port pillow.